if you want to protect your brain cells if you want to renew your brain cells then in today's video i'll be sharing with you three very simple tips try them out maybe they will be effective for you hi my name is dr vivek welcome to my youtube channel my first recommendation that is going to be most effective is about doing high intensity interval training also known as hiit it can be any kind of high intensity exercise it can be sprinting it can be cycling it can be swimming any kind of exercise in which you put all of your efforts for example for 40 seconds 50 seconds as much as energy you have you have just thrown all of your energy and after 40 50 seconds then you rest for about 90 seconds and this you repeat for two three times if you are just starting with the time you can repeat this 10 times also but if you will be doing it for first time just do it for two to three times that will be more than enough now, how high intensity exercise can help you with brain health actually these exercises stimulates bdnf bdnf stands for brain derived neuropathic factor and if there will be good stimulation or continuous stimulation of bdnf every single day then this will help in formation of new brain cells will help you in improving your memory will help to decrease the risk of dementia will elevate your mood will give you happiness these all are the benefits of bdnf second thing that can help you to stimulate bdnf is ashwagandha an awesome herb there has been many studies also that says that yes ashwagandha is effective so start with half teaspoon of powder ashwagandha at night before sleep how to consume ashwagandha just take half teaspoon mix it in water and you can drink this water or you can mix it in milk and you can drink it or you can just put in your mouth don't close your mouth and then just take water and take everything in with the water this is how i also consume powders powders are much more effective than tablets or capsules that's why i always recommend use of powders ashwagandha also improves cognitive function especially in the individuals who are experiencing stress for them ashwagandha is just like a boom so do exercises go for ashwagandha this can be helpful start with half teaspoon take it for a week and if your body is okay with half teaspoon then you can increase it to one teaspoon at night if you feel one teaspoon is also okay with you then go for one teaspoon in the morning and one teaspoon in the evening you can take ashwagandha empty stomach or 30 minutes after your meal see how your body reacts to it if your body is okay with ashwagandha on an empty stomach it's good don't worry Taking ashwagandha empty stomach is not going to cause ulcers, that's for sure. So take ashwagandha and see what time or in which way it's good for you to take ashwagandha. How long to take ashwagandha? Ashwagandha can be taken for two months continuously or two and a half months continuously and then have a gap of at least a month. And then again, you can start this cycle. Ashwagandha is easily available, but if you are not sure about the quality, then I will put a link down below in the description box. You can have a look. Third thing that can help you to boost BDNF or stimulate BDNF is eating on time. Yes, just simple eating on time will give lots and lots of good effects. Now, what I mean by eating on time? Finishing your dinner between 5 to 7 p.m. in the evening and then having a gap of at least 14 hours you can go for 16 hours also but at least for 14 hours and then having your next meal that is going to be next day in the morning this is the most crucial part of eating on time if you will eat your dinner early that's between 5 pm to 7 pm then automatically it will be very easy for you to have a gap of 14 hours this is how people used to eat just few years back with the modernization of the world now we are waking up at night we have disturbed our circadian rhythm our natural flow and this is causing lots and lots of issues especially with brain so if you want to correct it go with the basics that is fixing your food habits and your daily routine and you will see a big difference this is going to heal your gut also this is going to heal your liver also how because you are giving time to your body to digest and to heal itself. You are just not pushing the food inside your body. You are giving time to your body to detoxify itself. 
we have liver for detoxification we have kidneys for detoxification our body is awesome it will take care of itself just we have to give time to our body so just eat on time especially your dinner and you will be amazed how good effect it gives to your brain even if you are suffering from brain fog just eating in time and using trifla trifla is an awesome herb that i feel is boon for our body trifla is made up of three herbs and that's why the name is trifla if we divide the word trifla we are going to get three that means three phala means fruits so combination of three fruits together is trifla it's going to heal your gut and it is going to give very good effects on your brain on your mood so eating on time itself it's a medicine if you need then you can go for trifla for a while for example for 15 20 days otherwise just fixing your meal fixing your time of eating that meal these small small basic things are going to work as magic so try these three of my recommendations come back to this video write your feedbacks in the comments box down below because i am sure these simple changes in your life are going to help you well. I hope today's video will be helpful for you. See you next video with a big smile. Up to the time, smile more. Stay happy, stay healthy.